This is called the band of holes, five to six thousand of them in the shape of a serpent going up the ridge of a mountain here near Paracas in Peru. Green. <laughs> there are between five and six thousand of these holes, and they do make a serpent shape. The conventional story of archaeology is that these were where local people would put their tribute, as in food, for the Inca rulers. But Senior Juan Navarro's theory, which makes more sense to me, is that actually the ancient people planted plants in each one of these holes and watered them, took care of them. So in this barren landscape, what you had was the shape of a giant snake pattern going up the ridge basically almost from the river up to close to top of one of the mountains. If you enjoyed this video, please click like or thumbs up and subscribe. There are almost 900 other videos located here on my YouTube channel. So greetings and saludos and ciao from inland of Paracas, Peru. And as a surprise bonus feature, here we have quadcopter Pachacutec flying over the band of holes about a year ago, and it shows you the extent of them, the five to six thousand of them. So if each one of these had a plant in it, it would require quite a crew to be able to keep them watered. The Pisco River, as you can see, is not that far away, so there could have literally been something like a bucket brigade um, handing water in some kind of vessels from one to the next to the next to the next in order to keep the plants alive. Uh, again, we found no human remains in any of the holes. We found no pottery. So I honestly think Senior Juan Navarro was correct in his idea that this was a giant green snake that could be seen from a distance and, of course, like the famous Nazca lines and geoglyphs, could be seen from the air. Very mysterious. Nazca is about four hours drive south of here, and the famous candelabro created by the Paracas culture is about one hour's drive away in the Paracas Bay. It's approximately 500 feet tall. And in between the candelabro, and Nazca are the Palpa geoglyphs, of which there are about 1,000. They're not as large as the Nazca geoglyphs, such as the famous hummingbird and the monkey, but they are quite strange. You can look them up um, through Google Images or an equivalent, trying to give directions as to how to get to the band of holes is very difficult because first you drive on the highway, which is simple, but then you have to go off-road. So a better recommendation would be for you to come and visit me, and then I could guide you to see this interesting wonder, as well as 
Less than 15 minutes drive away is Tambo, Colorado, which was a major Inca site. So once again, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Have a look at the other approximate 900 videos on my YouTube channel. And stay tuned for more because I am constantly filming and producing more content for your viewing, entertainment, and to expand your field of knowledge. So once again, from the area of Paracas, Peru, thanks for watching.